hello hello good afternoon dear friends this is dr jambakeshwar and am i audible and visible just in the chat box please come hello mr pratik has it started you thank you yes hi guys okay this is dr jambakeshwaran preplada orthopedic faculty for you yeah just we uh, we got uh, some five or six questions and all the questions by this time uh, it's very straight forward and it is only from our lrr and rr okay that's a good news so how did you do pallavi has written sir you are audible anybody come to the chat please are you hearing me clearly please Just give me a thumbs up sign. Yes, yes. Answer okay. Pallavi has written yes. Okay, good. So we will move on to the first. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Priya ready. Yes, inside me, goddess. Okay, good. We will move on to the first question. Rheumatoid arthritis. the antibody anti the antibody positive ccr are of what type okay what type this is the question this is not purely an ortho question it is microbiology come ortho question but it's a straight forward cake okay so what is the type of antigen antibody reaction of rheumatoid arthritis is the question okay so hitesh yes see mainly it is type 3 mainly it is type 3 and also type 2 okay 75% mainly it is type 3 and 25% it can be type 2 and a choice is there type 2 and type 3 so this should be the right answer this should be the right answer okay yes have you answered this some some book here and have you answered this hello anybody Okay, yes, sir. Okay, Zahir Khan has answered, and uh, yes, I answered right. Okay, good, good. Priya Reddy have answered very good. So this is the first question. We will move on to the next question. A patient sustained elbow injury. Okay, I don't know whether it's elbow injury they had given or elbow dislocation, whatever it is. That was treated locally. That means they had done a native treatment due to improper healing. patient later developed a tingling sensation in the palm which nerve is most likely involved obviously elbow injury elbow dislocation or elbow injury patient is having tingling sensation in the palm obviously the answer should be what should be the answer obviously the answer should be yes what answer you had given yes very good so obviously the answer should be ulnar nerve answer should be ulnar nerve that's the right answer many of you have answered it correctly excellent man okay so it is obviously it is ulnar nerve very good it is called tardy ulnar palsy because patient tingling sensation later that's the word so it is a tardy ulnar palsy marvelous your answer is there it is ulnar nerve good yes one more question they had asked they are given an x ray something like this a fracture has happened here a patient sustained and they had given x ray like this fracture has developed in the proximal portion of the humerus which nerve is involved obviously if it is 
uh, if it is near the proximal end of humerus, it is proximal humerus fracture or if it is a shoulder dislocation, whatever it is, proximal portion of the humerus, obviously the answer should be axillary nerve. Answer should be axillary nerve. This was one question. Very good. Many of you pre ready. Many of you are given the answer as axillary nerve. Okay. Yes. Excellent. We'll move on to the next question. A 28-year-old male is brought to the emergency department following a high-speed motor vehicle collision. Okay. So, they had given this as windshield fracture. Windshield fracture means it is a crack that is happening in windshield of the car directly not to the patient okay so this is a high velocity injury and the knee has struck against the dashboard how many times we had discussed this in our rr and lrr okay dashboard injury right on physical examination the right lower limb is shortened adducted and internally rotated okay an anthroposterior x-ray of the thing is given what type of dislocation it is common okay Yes, so obviously this is a case of patient as the, the right lower limb is shortened, adducted, internally rotated, and high collision, high collision injury means it's a dashboard injury. Definitely, the answer should be posterior dislocation of the hip. Okay, good, right. Image was different. Doctor is giving anything. Image was different. Whatever it is. If the history is this, the answer should be, we can't take the original image. The answer should be posterior dislocation of the hip. Okay, yes. We'll move on to the next. A kabaddi player sustains twisting injury of the knee. Which ligament is most likely? When the foot is fixed to the ground, a twisting injury happens in the knee. The most common ligament that gets injured without doubt should be anterior cruciate ligament. ACL, okay, in footballers, in kabaddi players, whatever it is, foot is fixed to the ground, twisting happens in the knee, it should be a case of anterior cruciate ligament injury, okay, straightforward kick, okay, yes. A nine-year-old child, a nine-year-old child presents with pain and swelling over the mid-shaft of the tibia. Associated with low-grade fever and elevated ESR. Low-grade fever is there. Elevated ESR is there. The child age is 9 years. ESR is elevated. X-ray shown given this image. One choice that is supplied to me is osteosarcoma, Ewing sarcoma, osteoid osteoma. The C choice, I am not very sure. I am asking you guys. This is a controversial question. I am asking you guys. Is there anything acute osteomyelitis? Anything they had given? In the choice, anything they had mentioned about osteomyelitis? Medicos is giving yes. Okay, yes. And Pallavi is giving no. Karan is giving yes. Okay. Many are giving yes. Okay. Suppose acute osteomyelitis is there in the choice. Acute osteomyelitis is there in the choice. This should be the right answer. This should be the right answer. Osteomyelitis is there. Commonest differential diagnosis in a nine-year-old child, middle of the tibia, patient is having elevated fever and elevated ESR, low-grade fever. The commonest DD should be osteomyelitis. Okay? It should be osteomyelitis. Yes. Um, Sambukran is giving a controversial question. Unless otherwise, if it is not chronic osteomyelitis was there also, again, if chronic osteomyelitis was there in the choice, yes, this X-ray, there is loss of differentiation of corticomedullary thing. I am not able to differentiate whether it, which is cortex, which is medulla. Corticomedullary differentiation is lost. So, again, it should be osteomyelitis only. Okay, good. We will move on to the next thing. A 28-year-old female presented to the clinic which... Uh, with the clinic, the complaints of dull aching pain in her left hand, accidentally striking her left finger against the door on physical examination, mild tenderness or the affected, the range of movement is preserved. X-ray of the hand shows. What is the most? See, commonest pathology that is happening in the phalanges among the four choice, we know it is enchondroma. It should be enchondroma. Yes, many of you have, yeah. 
most of you had answered it correctly very good very good pallavi everybody in con roma sir talk all of you have answered that as in con roma okay good so in con roma should be the answer we'll move on to the last question based on the image the other choices they had not given me they had given the x ray this is a classical x ray when you zoom the x ray multiple small 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 even sized loose bodies are seen okay loose bodies are seen so this should be a case of synovial chondromatosis otherwise they should have used the word osteochondritis desiccans osteochondritis desiccans okay whatever it is it is okay right synovial this is see some has asked the doubt okay can't it be pseudo gout no pseudo gout other option was gout pseudo gout that is okay but if this is the x ray when you see the x ray multiple small uniform sized grains are there loose bodies are there so it should be osteochondritis desiccans the cause is synovial chondromatosis okay <clears throat> yes and leo das is giving sir there was a question on osteosarcoma also what was the question leo das you tell tell the question we will discuss osteosarcoma what question cordman's triangle okay okay cordman's triangle obviously when they had given an x-ray like this and elevated periosteum is there in triangular shape elevated periosteum obviously it should be osteogenic sarcoma okay yes yes mohammed sheik has given answer is synovial chondromatosis right good excellent so that completes our orthopedic session okay right so most of the questions they had repeated from our lrr and rr and i guys definitely you would have and most of you already have answered it correctly so all the best guys okay thank you so much mm -hmm.